In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for ZNO plus H2SO4. This is zinc oxide and this is sulfuric acid. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So zinc oxide, oxides in general are insoluble. So we'll put a S, it's going to be a solid, it won't dissolve in water. Sulfuric acid, this is a good one to remember, it's a strong acid, so it's going to be aqueous, it's going to dissolve, and then it's going to dissociate into its ions. If you know your solubility rules, in general, sulfates are soluble. Zinc sulfate, that's going to be soluble. And then H2O, water, that is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. In net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids, so we're going to just keep this as this ZNO. And I'll write the states later. Sulfuric acid, strong acid, strong electrolyte, and since it's aqueous, it's going to dissolve and dissociate. Hydrogen's in group 1 on the periodic table. It has a 1 plus ionic charge. And then the whole sulfate ion, 2 minus. Good one to remember. So we have these two hydrogen ions, 2H plus, and then we have the sulfate ion. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, zinc, although it's with the transition metals, it's always 2 plus, and we could know that because the sulfate here is just 2 minus for the whole thing. So we have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, we have our sulfate ion, and that's just like we have there in the reactants. And then we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations, so we keep the water together, H2O. This is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. We have in the reactants, we have this sulfate ion here. And here in the products, we have the sulfate ion. So that's a spectator ion, and we're going to cross that out. Everything else is unique, so what's left is the net ionic equation here for ZNO plus H2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for zinc oxide plus sulfuric acid. You'll note that the charge is the same on both sides. We have 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. Then on the products, we have a 2 plus here. The atoms, if you count those up, they're the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for zinc oxide plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.